hello everyone so today we are going to work on a uh, single shot mod versus multi shot mod toggling single shot mod basically so an automatic rifle like this if i keep left mouse pressed we can shoot continuously but when i press j it is switched to single shot mode so if i keep left mouse pressed it doesn't keep shooting we have to press again so this will be useful when we are maybe running low on ammo or something so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and for the uh, pistols guns that basically don't support automatic that those are basically not automatic weapons they they it won't make any difference even if i press toggle single shot mode but okay so let's see how to do that today all right so let me open the gun blueprint pp gun this is the main parent blueprint of all the guns and in the guns i think i already have a automatic yeah this automatic variable so if this is true the gun will automatically load the next blue and uh, next bullet and if i just keep the left mouse button or fire button pressed bullets will emit uh, and i have keep that true for all the automatic guns for example if i open the ak automatic is true and if i open a revolver see automatic is false so what I want to do is now a way to toggle that in the runtime for the um, for automatic weapons only auto because only automatic weapons can have single shot mode and multi shot mode. So how can we implement it? Right uh, in the BPI gun. Uh, I'll add a function toggle single shot mod and add an input. Uh, uh, well, maybe it's, we don't need an input, let's just call toggle so. If it is already enabled, it will be disabled. If it is already disabled, it will be enabled. Right now, uh, let's compile this. And in the BPI gun, let's go to the event graph. toggle single shot mod okay now all we have to do is simply uh, get get the automatic variable and get not sorry not 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 equal just not boolean operation and set automatic so this will toggle the value in automatic and so for machine guns it's fine for automatic guns it's fine but we need to disable this function for the guns that does not support automatic 
but before that let's just test it oh wait we in order to test that we need to bind an input for this so let's go to project settings input I don't think we have used J for anything let's test yeah J is not assigned for anything so let's add a new action toggles single shot what has the key J save now here this is where we get the guns right yeah action event double single shot mode so we need to call that interface function we set up um, on the weapon and we need to make sure we have a weapon first so if we have a valid weapon double single shot mode okay now let's see let's equip the ak all right if i press j see now even if i keep left mouse pressed i can shoot only one shot if i press j again automatic okay but now we have a problem if i equip the pistol if i press j again see the pistol basically becomes an automatic gun so to prevent that we will have to Uh, well, we can simply override that function of toggle automatic But um, It kind of feels like that's less inconvenient. So Let's add another variable Let's duplicate automatic by pressing ctrl D automatic supported okay so let's use a branch here with automatic supported only if automatic supported this part will be executed and for the pistols now we can simply set that variable to false so crossbow also not automatic oh this should be next to automatic Okay. False. Oh well. 
We can actually do it like this in the begin play. Do we have begin play? Yes. We can set auto supported with the value of automatic so basically if automatic is true then it is automatic supported if not it is not so yeah so that should automatically take care of all the automatic disabled guns let me press j see still not enable in multi shots let me check this it's working let me press j not working okay switch again switch this is still this should be automatic disabled yeah all right so that's all i wanted to do for today so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here for the download in the Patreon page link could be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon club see you in another episode goodbye